Young Newell, I'm real mad at you. Oh, don't start trying to look at me now. No, Young Newell, I'm extremely mad at you. Very, very upset. Wh why? Because your quality control sucks. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the Photo Video Show, where we explore all things photography. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. So, yeah, I'm really pissed at Young Nuo at this point. I have almost had it with him. So some of you guys may be asking why I may almost be done with him. I am not above saving money. I am a thrifty spender. I am frugal. Uh, I really do try and do my homework and my research into what I buy. I'd like to get the most for my money, as I think most people do, okay? So, Young New doesn't have a bad reputation. They actually have an extremely good reputation overall. I know lots of photographers in a lot of different places all over the world that have been using Young New products. I'm not a very harsh critic when it comes to most photography products, simply because I do believe that all different products of all different price ranges serve a lot of different purposes and meet a lot of different needs based on budget, location, circumstance. So I don't usually try to be overly critical of anything. But the main reason that I am now concerned with uh, Young Nuo at this point is because a lot of people have been reporting and now I am confirming that people are having issues with the Young Nuo flashes, at least the Mark IV line. And to explain a little bit further, cut to B-roll. So as I was telling you guys before, I'd been having some problems out of these Young Nuo Mark IV flashes. Now I had originally attributed it to uh, the pen design, I, I still think that that's the case. And I have tried several different uh, user solutions that have come through on that last video. I've tried a bunch of different things with the hot shoe as far as uh, getting rid of the paint, uh, removing it, uh, using the flashes uh, directly inside the hot shoe without this metal piece. I've scratched off paint in different places, really tried to make a good connection, but again, Maybe I'm doing it wrong. So far, I've had no joy out of either of these two flashes. Now, uh, in that last video, I also told you all that I was having uh, a problem with one of the flashes because uh, no matter what power setting I put it on, it was always firing at full power. And that's this one. And this one is going back. And then I got the new one. And the new one, uh, so far, is working great. But in the process of testing the new one with the second one that I bought at the same time as I bought this one, this one started going out. So now I've got a second Young Nuo YN560 Mark IV that also fires only on full power no matter what setting I put it on. It's getting frustrating. Now I know a lot of other photographers out there that have nothing but good luck with these things. Maybe they're just getting good copies and I've also heard plenty of other uh, photogs that got the uh, YN560 Mark III's and have never had a day's problem with it ever. So now I'm gonna have to return this one and try and get me another one. So that'll make two. But as far as usability on the A6000, I do believe that this hot shoe design, the, this pen arrangement is the win without having to buy an adapter one of those multi-interface adapters. I, I do believe that this is the wiener. I also mentioned that the transmitter that I bought with the Young Nuos, I thought was the Nikon version, but I was wrong. When I went hunting around uh, for my box, I realized that it was a YN560 TX4C for Canon cameras. I don't know if you can see that or not, doesn't really matter, this is a Canon transmitter. So the Canon third party accessories seem to work perfectly on the Sony a6000. I can't get these single pin uh, flashes to work for shit. I'm just, I'm just about over them. On a more positive note, the Aprilite for Canon has been working flawlessly. And I've even tested out uh, its high speed sync and that also really worked nicely. So for those that were wondering about high speed sync um, on the A6000, this Aprilite YH700C has been just perfect so far. So as I said before, I'm not overly critical, but dude, 
It's very hard for me to be a positive, upbeat customer and promoter of one's products when I get not only one bad unit, but I get two bad units. And they failed about roughly the same amount of time, so I am extremely not happy with Young Nuo right now. So, Young Nuo, if you're watching, you better get your shit together because I'm telling you, you were on a roll there for a minute. You had a lot of good stuff going for you. Don't mess it up now. Honor your warranties. So it is official. I right now cannot, under any circumstances, recommend the Young Nuo YN560 Mark IV flashes. Until they get that quality control under control and they start shipping out some decent for real though units, I just, I can't recommend them. Do you all hear that noise? What are you doing? Come here to me. You know, there's a lot of things in this world that make me very angry and really get on my nerves. <laughs> but the one thing that makes me happy is pet ferrets. Ain't that right? This is Smudge. Smudge Mudge the Wonder Weasel. And he is super cute. Say hi. <laughs> He's good, but uh, he makes my life hell sometimes here on the show. Say bye-bye.